I'm sorry to inform you, Mr. Mukherjee. Your wife has been suffering from severe depression and paranoia. What do you mean? Since when, doctor? I'm afraid for quite some time now. Your wife needs you, Mr. Mukherjee. Spit it out. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't try to f*** with me. I'm not. Listen, you have murder charges against you. So it's in both of our interests not to waste any time. It wasn't a murder. I killed him in self-defense. Start from the beginning. How did you kill? What was the motive? I want everything. It's quite an intriguing story. I'm all yours. It started about three months back. I was living in an apartment, all alone, away from my family. You know, I'm a bookworm. I love horror books. At that time I was reading a crime thriller by this new author. Which was really, really disturbing. But oddly enough, I found a lot of similarities with the protagonist. In fact, almost everything. The story was about a guy who was crazily in love with a girl. But the girl didn't love him back and brutally deserted him. Rejection is the sand in the oyster. That ultimately produces a pearl. Hmm. Not always. Heartbroken, the guy started doing all the dreadful things one could imagine. He became a threat to the person once he loved the most. It started with a miserable stalking, which slowly turned into a violent obsession. She began to feel unsafe, even in her own house, already trapped in an incessant prison of her own fears and complexes. This very guy made her everyday life much more stressful. Eventually crossing all limits, he came to her house and knocked the door. Hi, Ria. Hey, Deep. How are you? I'm fine. Actually, I've come to tell you a secret. Mm-hmm. Promise that you won't tell this to anyone? What is it about? Mm, I don't know how to say this. But this is the apartment's new Wi-Fi password. What? <laughs> so funny. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anything else? No, but seriously, keep it safe. Yeah, I will. Have a nice day. Recent mood swings, unpredictable behavior, emotional outbursts, everything is a ramification of a 
mental illness. But doctor, it's been almost two years since our marriage. I really didn't notice any unusual exertion during the initial few days. She even seemed to be really happy about our marriage. But after the incident, she has completely locked herself up. She doesn't even want to speak about it. What am I supposed to do? I can understand. See, paranoia is a mental disorder in which the person suffering from it constantly feels that everyone is out there to get them. But doctor, I am her husband. I love her. I have always loved her. She doesn't even let me help. Well, paranoia is a thought process heavily influenced by anxiety or fear, often to the point of delusion and irrationality. They believe everyone is conspiring against them. And so they trust no one. They try to protect themselves beforehand. Even if you try to sympathize, they might find some bad intention in your actions. Yes, exactly. See, there are many reasons due to which a person suffers from these kinds of depression or other mental illness. A childhood trauma could likely be the reason. And in your wife's case, a quite disturbing one, I assume. Your wife is refusing to speak up. She has chosen to believe herself to be a very strong and independent woman. She has created a hello, which she allows no one to cross or break because she believes that might hurt her eventually. Her paranoia refrains her to trust anyone. Not even you. An incident most people would view as an accident or coincidence, your wife would like to believe was intentional. Sorry. Don't move. Are you trying to fuck with me? No, no, suddenly not. I want my lawyer. What? I don't trust you. Okay. Listen. I can understand. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Trust me, I do. You just need to cooperate with me. Like a good girl. And I'm gonna hurt you, okay? I know the girl did a terrible thing. The girl from the book I was talking about. Yeah, the girl. The climax of the story was really heart wrenching. On her way back home, one day, the guy came from the other side and threw acid on her face. In a split second, with her face, rest of her life got completely destroyed. 
what's the benefit of seeing the future if you can't change it? By all possible means, I just couldn't allow that to happen to me, especially after getting the death threat. That day, my malefactor was following me for quite some time, keeping a distance, and I had this ominous feeling that he was hiding something behind his back. Something? Something to hurt me? Like? Like an acid bulb, perhaps? Or a knife? Uh -huh. I was so scared the whole time. And when I entered the empty pathway, he came closer and the moment he was about to bring his hand forward, I, I freaked out and... He stabbed the guy in his neck with your hairpin. Not once, but multiple times. You brutally killed the guy. And did you see what he had in his hand? Did you see? A rose. A rose. He just came to propose you. Or he could have killed me. Not everything from the book had to have the similarities with your own life. Your presumption made you mercilessly kill a it guy who was simply murder. in love I'm with not you. A murderer. It was nothing but a murder. It wasn't. Cold blooded murder. I killed him to save myself. He just came to propose you. He just a fucking rose in his hand. Not a seed to throw at your pretty Stop. face. The fucking book has corrupted your fucking mind. I told you. You wouldn't understand my situation. Huh. There's nothing to understand, you filthy bitch. I want my lawyer. I want my lawyer. No, 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 no. Paranoia is a mental disorder in which the person suffering from it constantly feels that everyone is out there to get them. Don't try to f*** with me. They trust no one. They try to protect themselves before. I, I'm so sorry. Don't move. I told you. You wouldn't understand my situation. I can understand. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Trust me. I do. Paranoia is a thought process heavily influenced by anxiety or fear, often to the point of delusion and irrational. That day, my malefactor was following me for quite some time. At that time, I was reading a crime thriller by this new author, which was really, really disturbing. But oddly enough, I found a lot of similarities with the protagonist. The climax of the story was really heart wrenching. On our way back home one day, the guy came from the other side and threw acid on her face. By all possible means, I just couldn't allow that to happen to me, especially after getting the death threat. The fucking book has corrupted your fucking mind. Actually, I've come to tell you a secret. What is it about? This is the apartment's new Wi-Fi password. Give it safe. Yeah, I will. incident most people would view as an accident or coincidence. Your wife would like to believe was intentional. And as a precautionary measure, their actions may sometimes even become violent. The way they perceive things are unusual and unpredictable. You have to be intelligent about your actions and what you say and how you say that to her. It's been almost two years since our marriage. But after the incident, she has completely locked herself up. Mr. Mukherjee, I will suggest you to take good care of your wife. Thank you.
Thank you.